Today on Quick Hitters, we're going to learn how to play the intro to Chattahoochee. That's right. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today on Quick Hitters, we're going to take a look at the intro to Chattahoochee. Chattahoochee was a great song released in May of 1993. It was written by Alan Jackson and Jim McBride. It was voted uh, Single of the Year in 1993 by the CMAs. Uh, the Chattahoochee River is, well, first of all, the Cher Chattahoochee is a Cherokee term that means river of painted rocks. And the Chattahoochee River is 48 miles long. It starts in southeast Georgia and it ends at the Georgia-Florida line into Lake Seminole. And it is a paradise for tubers and anglers and paddlers, you name it. So, uh, great video if you guys listen to it. There's a lot of releases uh, of this song. There's a lot of remixes, uh, extended versions, really cool guitar licks, really fun video. And the introduction is fantastic. Brent Mason is a session guy. For those of you who've never heard of Brent Mason, I highly suggest you look up Brent Mason. He has a huge, huge list of hits and songs that he's played on through his career. He's kind of like the Steve Lukather of country music. Uh, he's been on so many great albums. Chances are if there's a really tasty country twangy guitar lick, it was probably Brent Mason <laughs> or Dan Huff. <laughs> so anyway, Brent Mason, uh, uh, crafted this really cool lake at the beginning of Chattahoochee and it's it's really fun it's kind of tricky and uh, so today we're gonna take a look at that so anyway uh, Chattahoochee's in C the whole song is C F and G that's it it's C F G one four five typical country format but the the melody the lyrics and the the groove is really cool which made it a smash hit so anyway this lick starts off um, uh, with a little bit of a slapback reverb. So I got a little bit of delay, lots of compression. So first of all, country players use a lot of compression. Compression gives them the ability to play fast and clean easily, and it, it brings the notes and the tone out into the mix really, really open so it can be heard and uh, broadcast well through a recording. It's kind of like how metal and rock players use distortion or gain to uh, you know, make solo stand out and a little bit easier to play. So put a little bit of slapback delay and reverb uh, on your, uh, your sound and a lot of compression for this. And uh, so I'm gonna play this lick for you and, and demonstrate how it goes. Hopefully I'll get it right. Then I'll break it down step by step. <laughs> It sounds easy, it's pretty tricky. So, first of all, what we're doing on this is we're, we're, we're gonna be hammering on, on the A string. We're gonna be on the, the second fret with our pointer finger, and we're gonna hammer on with our middle finger onto this third fret on the A string, which is a C. We're gonna do that four times. If you watch my picking hand, I'm picking it, so we're going. So what I'm doing there is I'm going four times. That's how that lick goes. The next part goes. So what I'm doing is I'm sliding with my ring finger from the third fret on the A string up to the seventh fret on the A string. And then I'm going pointer finger on the fifth and ring finger on the seventh on the D string. And going back down to the fifth. So. Okay, so slowly, maybe a little slower, cool, so the next part of that lick sounds like this. Once again, it sounds like, so what I'm doing there is going, 
which is the low E string on the fifth and the third. And then we're on the fifth fret on the A string. And we're gonna bend up and bend back down real quick and go back to the C. So this one's a little bit tricky to get down because this goes it hits that C four times. Two, three, four. So the first part of that lick, the whole the whole thing that we just demonstrated goes. And up to speed. Like that. Then the second half of that lick goes just like the beginning. That lick again. And then here's where it gets tricky. So what I'm doing here is I'm palm muting. So it's, it's kind of like chicken picking. You could probably you could probably pluck it with your fingers and sound really country. But I'm so used to alternate picking, I'm going to alternate pick. So after we go. We're on the G string on the fifth fret. And we're going to skip, string skip. And we're going to be on the A string on the seventh. So there's that interval. So we're doing that. And that next part is the D string on the seventh fret. And then we're going to go back to the A string on the seventh fret. So that seventh fret on the A string acts kind of like a pedal tone. So, it's so that lick starts like that. So after that, we go, which is uh, fifth and seventh on the D string. And we're going to go down to the A string on the sixth and seventh. So once again, I'm going to start from the beginning. Once again. Then we're going to go five and seven on the D string and then bend up on the fifth fret on the A string and release down to that C. So that whole ending riff slowly is time it's genius <laughs> and if you want to put in that what I'm doing there is I'm I'm taking a C shape, like a bar chord up here, but we take the high B and the E strings on the um, eighth fret, and then we're gonna take the G string on the seventh fret, so it sounds like we're gonna play with our pinky and our ring finger on the eighth fret and put our, our uh, middle finger on the G string on the seventh, and we're gonna bend that. We're gonna bend this G string so it sounds like it's the ninth fret and that goes. So you gotta leave these fingers flat and stay put on the, the eighth fret. <laughs> so there you go, Chattahoochee, quick hitters. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing, comment below, and most of all, have a great day, peace out.